Greetings, roller coaster fanatics, and welcome out to a fanatic review where I basically get to re review roller coasters. We're talking about a very special coaster near and dear to my heart. It's at my home park, and it's also a hundred years old this year, which is why this is kind of feels like a. That's why it's kind of there in my heart a little bit. I'm very excited to really talk about this roller coaster. So let's jump right in. It's very weird to think about riding anything that's over 100 years old. The Carousel, King's Dominion, Leap the Dips at Lakemont Park, uh, riding now the Wild One at Six Flags America. It's just something unique about riding something that is over 100 years old. It makes it such a classic and it's such an historic thing too. And it's something that is just fantastic and I can't wait to go to Kennywood when all three of those wooden coasters become 100 years old. So, Wild One, first of all, if that begs the question, how is it 100 years old when this park itself isn't even 100 years old? Well, this was actually the first coaster at Six Flags America, and back when it was called Wild World, it opened to the park in 1986, but before then it was at Nantucket Beach um, up in Massachusetts in 1917. So 100 years ago, this coaster was made, then it was taken down and relocated, all the parts were shipped to be the first coaster at Wild World, now called Six Flags. America in 1986. This roller coaster was actually manufactured by Din Corporation, uh, which is very interesting because when you think of Din Corporation, you think of Texas Giant, Mean Streak, uh, but then there's this coaster, which is actually really fun. It's a standard out and back, and what's also really cool, um, I believe uh, when it actually was relocated, uh, fun fact that the Helix never actually existed. The double Helix never existed on this coaster until they added this to Six Flags America. They decided to add a double Helix. It also allowed them to renovate the turnaround uh, as you're going out, and then when you turn around to come back, they renovated that turn so it's a lot smoother of a transition. So anyway, let's get into the stats. So Wild One is theme to being wild. The main name is just basically a classic. Um, there's nothing really theming to it. I like that they've added cool Mardi Gras looking colored flags at the top now. That is something brand new that they've added. There's a green flag, purple flag, orange flag. I think there's a yellow one. Um, I can't remember for sure, but it's really nice that they've added those flags to the top. Like you see at Ravine Flyer 2 or the Voyage at Holiday World. It's located in the Mardi Gras section, but other than that, there's nothing really themed to it. I do like the patches of saying how it's 100 years old on the cars, so that's really interesting. So it has an overall height of 98 feet with a drop of 88 feet, and it reaches a maximum speed of 53 miles per hour and goes a total length of 4,000 feet of track just straight up. Including the time you leave the station to the time you hit the brake run, you're looking about a total time duration of 1 minute and 58 seconds. And of course, there's two trains on this. Lucky if you get two trains on this. But it's actually interesting because, just real quick, the operations on this coaster are probably one of the best ones at Six Flags America. They, this is one that usually runs two trains mostly, and the dispatches are pretty quick, actually. So besides the classic feel, what is the ride itself? Well, this actually is one of the smoothest wooden roller coasters, ironically, I have ridden. It is beautifully smooth. They have done some extra work to keep this nice and up and running for being 100 years old and at Six Flags America of all places. I'm sorry, Six Flags America, nothing wrong with you, but uh, you're my home park. I like to make fun of you a little bit. <laughs> This ride is just a one of my favorites at this park actually because it has got a ton of air time It is intense all around and it's just downright fun So much fun, especially when you do the little trick where when the lap bar comes down uh, you leave some room um, and when and you make sure that when they uh, the operators come around to check they actually um, you make it so that they can't push it down any further, which is really nice. So you get lots of air time on this thing. So, of course, you start out of the station, you make a left turn, then you go up the lift hill, and then you uh, kind of curve to the right, then drop down. You don't drop actually a lot. You kind of dr uh, drop, but not that far into the drop. You immediately crest up, and you go into the first air time hill, and you're going to get ejected no matter what. You're just going to get straight out of your seat. Then you actually drop all the way to the ground, come up for a double up with some nice air time. Then you do the turnaround. Then you do a double down, 
Then you do an air time while turning to the left. Then you crest up for a big air time hill, and you're going to get, once again, ejector air time. You crest back down to come up for another ejector air time hill. And uh, before you go down, it will turn back to the left where you do you do actually feel a little bit of shakiness right there it's kind of almost straight but you lift up a little bit there's like supposed to be a hill but you don't feel the airtime there at all um, that I think is the weakest spot right there all it is is just feeling speed and shakiness so then you crest up with a lot of airtime while turning to left and then you come into the helix and I've never been on a more intense helix Holy crap, this thing is insane. The double helix on this is nuts. You get a lot. You're just thrown to the left. Like, no matter what, no matter how hard you push, you're getting thrown to the left side of the train. And it is incredible. The intensity is amazing. It is a breathtaking finale. It's one of those few where... It's actually great to actually have a helix and out the right for once. Because <laughs> this was a helix that was done right. And it was amazing. Then you land right into the brakes for my second favorite coaster at this park. <laughs> I love this coaster from start to end. It is one of my favorite wooden coasters. It is just amazing. And the fact that it's 100 years old is even more awesome. And by golly, this ride is actually incredible. I'm going to give the wild one at Six Flags America an A-. minus. So that was the wild one at Six Flags America at my home park. This is amazing to actually ride a roller coaster at 100 years. There's not a lot of coasters out there that are 100 years or older. And it just feels amazing to ride one of these. There's something just awe about it. You just know the history of this roller coaster. And it's just incredible that I actually get to ride it. I was so excited. I waited two years for this thing to become 100 years. And I can't believe it is. And it is, it is an incredible roller coaster. If you ever get to go to Six Flags America, I definitely recommend to check this one out. It is amazing. And it's actually got some of the best operations at this uh, park, too. So thank you all for watching. Make sure to check other Fanatic reviews that I've been on. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more video content like this. Thank you all for watching. And as always, Roller Coaster Fanatics, keep coasting.